On 14 July 1994, the U.S. Navy conducted a sled test of the TSAM warhead against a Navy standard target consisting of five feet of steel-reinforced 5,200 PSI concrete. The purpose of the test was to demonstrate the additional penetrating capability of the TSAM warhead above specification requirements. The 230-ton target and support structure was fractured and moved back four inches. The warhead traveled another 565 feet downrange. It sustained no significant damage. On 5 August 1994, the first TSAM launch from an FA-18 was conducted at 22,000 feet altitude and 0.7 Mach. Following engine start, the missile successfully captured the course. The TSAM performed a series of climbs and descents, including a 15,000-foot descending turn, the largest descending turn yet accomplished. The target was a T-shaped structure representative of a two-story command headquarters building. The aim point was a simulated air conditioner on the roof used as a trackable feature. The weapon data link provided video to the launch platform. The TSAM autonomously attacked the target, performing a medium pop-up maneuver and the first successful vertical attack. All primary flight test objectives were accomplished successfully. On 13 August 1994, the second TSAM launch from an F-16 was performed at 10,000 feet altitude and 0.8 Mach. The missile successfully transitioned to free flight and performed a series of maneuvers for guidance and control test purposes, including maximum performance turns and the first climbing turns. The target was a concrete structure representative of a command headquarters building adjacent to a larger stucco structure. The aim point was a simulated air conditioner on the roof used as a trackable feature. The TSAM autonomously attacked the target. All primary flight test objectives were accomplished successfully. I got the air conditioner. I got the air conditioner. Oh, beautiful! 